Dr. Lang, thank you very much for giving me your very, very valuable time and agreeing to speak with me. Who is Sandra Lang? You know, I'm a mom of two boys. I've worked my whole life with the government, actually, in Alberta. Um, I grew up in a small town, fabulous, fabulous family. I, I just couldn't have had a better upbringing, I don't think, you know, and, and then I get stuck in something like this. Sandra, you grew up in a lovely home and then you got stuck in a, a relationship that motivated you to write this book. Absolutely, I did. Um, I was married for 26 years. Uh, you know, I didn't know what narcissism was. I, growing up in a, you know, in a great family, I guess, where, you know, your parents are loving and there's no divorce and there's no anything like that. It's, it's really hard. You, you get that mindset that you have to be with them forever. You know, marriage is a forever commitment and you work on it and you, you know, work on things like that. And it just, um, I just kept doubting myself all the time going, what, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> but it really wasn't me. It's you, right? Because who else can it be? Well, and that's exactly what happens. You, you go, what am I doing wrong? Why, why am I being treated like this? Uh, you know, there's, there's never an argument really, but it's always me that's wrong. No matter what I do is wrong. <laughs> so it really made it tough to be, um, confident, you know, I was always such a confident outgoing person and this, I became kind of, um, I was still an extrovert, but I kind of became more reclusive okay. in my own, in my own skin. And if I hadn't had my boys, I probably would not have been doing anything. I probably would have stayed at home and, and just become that, person at home that you know does whatever he wants and follows the rules and all of that. Sandra do you think there are many women who just disappear into themselves? Absolutely absolutely I just feel that um we're too afraid. We're too ashamed and embarrassed to to go out and and make things better. Um, I know for myself, I stayed with him so long because I I didn't think I could do it on my own. And truthfully, who who would have thought? Um, my thought process was like, who's going to want me? I've done everything wrong. Like who who wants that? And you just feel so alone and ashamed and embarrassed. And yet, that's why I wrote this book because I didn't want people to feel so alone. I wanted them to know that uh, it's okay. We are not the, you know, we are the victim here. <laughs> we are not bad people. And, and that's really why I wrote it. I think I've given away more books than what I've sold because I see it so often and I see it at work. I see people say, Oh my gosh, I need that book. And I'm like, well, take it. Just take the book. Because if you need it, I want you to know you're not alone. What, so. what did it mean for you to have such a book while you were in that relationship? You know, when I, when I wrote the book, I had just left him. So I was again, I was so embarrassed. I was, I was just so alone. I really, for being such a strong person, I had just had a meltdown. I just couldn't function. I just didn't know what I had done wrong and, you know, where I had gone wrong. So I think, um, writing this book was really an eye opener for me because I didn't even know what narcissism was until I left him. And somebody said, Oh, well, he's a narcissist. I'm like, wait a minute. What does that mean? <laughs> and then I started my research on it and, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I've been living with this my whole life. You know, I've been with him longer than I had been living at home. And I, yeah, I was in shock. I was just in shock. 
And the messages I get back from people who have read the book are like, oh my God, you saved my life. And I never knew either. And I, I know now I'm not alone. So that's a, a really good feeling for me because that's really why I wrote it. Um, given anybody the courage to step out to me? Oh, yes. Yes, I get a lot of that. I get a lot of emails going, yes, your book has saved my life. I didn't know that this is what it was. And I, I have to thank you so much for writing this. You know, I felt so alone as well. And and now I'm leaving. And actually, my cousin was one of them. She emailed me saying, I this book has saved my life. I did not know what it was. And she actually left her relationship and she's so much happier now, but I do get a lot of messages going, okay, so, you know, I have to go to court. What, what should I do here? And I'm like, well, I'm not your lawyer, but you know, stick to your guns, just stick to your guns because you are worth it. You are absolutely worth it. You are worth the fight. eh? Yes. Sandra, how is it possible to understand the narcissist? Um, you know, I really, I think as long as you know that that's, when you figure out that that's what they are, it really makes it easier for yourself to forgive yourself for things, which makes you just a stronger person, I think. Um to to understand them i i think you have to decide whether you know you're in that relationship because you love that person enough to want to understand it and stay with that and realize that it's not you or do you want to go out on your own and and be the person that you know you can be and that you are um, I'm not sure if I'm kind of skirting around, you know, the issue or of understanding them because they change so much. They just, they want, everything revolves around them. So your reactions are what they thrive on. Yes. So, so if I would say their only consistency is the inconsistency, what would you say? I would say that their consistency is that everything has to be about them. Um, so if you know that, you know, you will know the triggers. Um, you will know what not to say to them. Like, oh, this isn't just about you. Um, because really, they make everything about them. The world revolves like... Here's you, here's the narcissist. <laughs> the world revolves around them. <laughs> and, uh, so. Sandra, uh, what, what works today may not work tomorrow with them? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they, they change like the weather, you know, but the consistent is, you know, that they, it's about them. Yes. They make everything about them. Make up the rules. Y yes, they, they do. As they go. <laughs> they, do. they really do. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Um, be blessed and thank you for all the good that you are doing. Thank you so much.